You on Visual Graphic Studio. You cannot bring me down. I've got somebody. Hey. I've got somebody, na na na. I've got somebody in my life. I've got somebody. Hey. I've got somebody, na na na. I've got somebody in my life. I've got somebody. Hey. Wanda wanda. I've got somebody, na na na. I've got somebody in my life. I've got somebody. Hey. Wanda wanda. I've got somebody, na na na. I've got somebody in my life. Somebody, na na na. I've got somebody. Oh, we love you guys. We love you guys. Thank you very much. Okay, we are now is more time. Oh, we dive into the program proper because we have to answer the of God. He started this job. young boys and girls who are still searching for partners in life. Jesus, may your divine will be done in their lives. So that in the nearest future, we shall have more occasions to gather and celebrate. Yes. And thank you for your goodness in our life. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, descend on us and remain with us here until the end of this occasion. Amen and amen. Amen. The Lord is good all the time. And all the time. The Lord is good. I know and I know you can do better than that. Somebody celebrate, celebrate this day. You do. It's so profound and fun. I want to welcome especially the couples that are wonderfully and beautiful. When you are celebrating, I don't know if you have problems with life. And whatever thing that the Lord has made, it is beautiful and it is marvelous in the sight of men. And I also want to <laughs> Yes, it is not easy. Amen. Uh, my dear colleague, you have yourself to be blessed. Don't say that it was the MC. Well, thank you, thank you. The reason why we are here is to celebrate love. And we are here because we love ourselves. We are here because we love the celebrant. Amen. So that love must stay all over this hall. And I want to acknowledge the presence of the of Fadanya in the hall. A spiritual man. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Okay. We have a word from the chairman or the chair lady. We have Tebo Matthias and Sinito Emilia. Our Excellency, the Minister of uh, Supreme State, Unit, here present in the capacity of her representative, personalities, clergy. Dignitaries, Mr. and Mrs., Miss, all protocols respected as the chairman of the occasion and with the collaboration of the chair lady. We want to say a big thank you for honoring the invitation to speak. 
because it's difficult to take this booster. That's the reason we are celebrating them for deciding to take this booster to prove to the world, to testify before the court of law, to testify before God, to acknowledge before God that they have decided to honor what God has ordained from creation by becoming husband and wife today. I want to say, can we give a hand of applause to them? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello. Hi. I'm happy that you've been very patient. I'm happy that you've been very tolerant irrespective of all the excesses vis-a-vis -vis the timing from morning up to now. I sincerely appreciate it and I wish that because you've, done, you've come this far and you've been so steadily collaborative, you will just follow suit. Reason being that ceremonies of this magnitude east of the Mongo is in the night. That's the sharp contrast to what we do west of the Mongo. Because with us, we celebrate immediately after church service. So I can understand that some people will find it very out of place. There is a situation where we find ourselves. And I'm grateful that you've understood it. To Wilfred and Belinda, I wish you well. It's been such a long journey for you two to get to the summit of this mountain and I believe that nobody is going to teach you how to get married because you decided to get married so your experiences which is in the pipeline will definitely see you contradicting each other looking at each other eyeball to eyeball when there is a problem and sorting out your differences in your bedroom I say so because witnesses that are here present this evening who are eating and drinking should not serve as a catalyst to the separation of these two. Amen. If you find them going diverse directions as a witness thereof today, you have the largesse <coughs> and have the duty to call them to order. You should not in any way be that person that is going to let the cat out of the bag when there is a problem in their home. If they run to you for any advice, and you think that you don't have an advice, don't give a negative one, please. Wilfred has been in the life of a young man and has graduated today into the manhood. And before he got to this point, he's lived in their family differently from Belinda, in two separate regions, his, his religious life, they've come now to a confluence because they are now in the same church. I don't know the church Belinda is going to be for now. But what I want to draw your attention here to of you is that you have different natural tendencies, different cultural tendencies. You have different diversified political lives. You are in a country where there are 253 or more languages, you should be very careful the way you function. It's not a magic card. It's not a coin that you flip and flip. It's not a switch on the wall that you put on and off because there is a word called I'm sorry. I'm sorry should only come when it's extremely necessary to come, which means you should take your time when you are trying to carry out anything so that you don't hurt another person, each other's feeling. I know that the world is full of trickery, and the grass is always green on the other side. You are married today, you want to go out there, and the people who are out there who want to come in. They need to watch out with your friends. Watch out what you tell them about your husband. Watch out what you tell people about your husband. It may be small, but there's never a cock and a hen in the same cage that will ramble to crow the cock crows. I draw you back to your Bible to tell you that the woman is a second being 
Keep all that jazz of Women's Day. It will crumble your home. Look at your husband as your boss. Look at him as the Adam in your life. Please, don't fall in the death trap of wanting a right. I don't think it's only end of March that you have a right. I think you should have your right every time by dialoguing, by looking at each other and, ex and, and an exemplary way. Do not let the ills of this society that we are living in trample into your home and you start beating your chest to say you also are a human being like your husband. You are a second being. That's why when God made man from the earth, he made you from his bone, which means part of his blood is in you. The earth has no blood, but the bone, that's where the red blood cells are formed. So I'm drawing your attention to this, in the presence of the whole congregation and the witnesses that are here, that if you disobey your husband, you have disobeyed your God. Look at him as the other God on earth. Walk along this path, this terrible world that we are living in, with love, faith, trust. Do not mind what people will tell you. They will love you on the surface, but he will love you from his heart. Not a miracle. We studied together in secondary school in Widiko, where we both obtained our own level and advanced. And I wish to beg everybody to participate actively and be on top of so that there will be no discussion when the student video copying is eventually produced. So this is the best gift I think I should offer to my friends. And the wife. And this song, Happy Way, will be taken from the Bible, from the book of Ruth, in the Old Testament. Precisely, Ruth chapter 1, verse 16 to 17.
Can I hear some celebration in this hall?